He is known for his contributions to the field of music as a composer and conductor. He is recognized for his work in translating and arranging pieces by composers such as Schoenberg and Stravinsky. His name is Ingolf Dahl. In the realm of music history, one name stands out, Ingolf Dahl, a legendary composer and musician whose impact on the field is immeasurable. Born as Walter Ingolf Marcus in Hamburg, Germany, Dahl was born into a family of German-Jewish heritage. He grew up in a household filled with music, studying piano under the tutelage of Edith Weissmann, a renowned harpsichordist and pianist. Dahl's talent and passion for music led him to continue his studies with Philip Jarnack at the Hochschule für Musik Köln. However, as the Nazi party rose to power, Dahl was forced to leave Germany and seek refuge elsewhere. He found solace in Switzerland, where he studied at the University of Zurich alongside notable musicians such as Volkmar Andrea and Walter Frey. During his time in Zurich, Dahl worked at the Zurich Opera, starting as an intern and eventually rising to the rank of assistant conductor. He had the privilege of being involved in the world premieres of significant works by composers such as Alban Berg and Paul Hindemith. However, as Switzerland became less welcoming to Jewish refugees, Dahl made the difficult decision to emigrate to the United States in 1939. In his new home of Los Angeles, Dahl reinvented himself, adopting the name Ingolf Dahl based on his middle name and his mother's maiden name. He concealed his Jewish heritage and claimed Swedish birth to avoid discrimination. Dahl quickly became a respected figure in the American music scene, engaging in a diverse range of musical pursuits. He worked as a solo pianist, accompanist, conductor, coach, composer, and critic. His talents as a linguist allowed him to produce English translations of notable works, including Arnold Schoenberg's Piero Lunaire and Igor Stravinsky's Poetics of Music. Stravinsky himself recognized Dahl's skill and commissioned him for various projects, including creating a two-piano version of his Dances Concertants. Dahl's contributions extended beyond classical music as well. He ventured into the entertainment industry, touring with renowned performers such as Edgar Bergen and Gracie Fields. Dahl also worked as an arranger and conductor for musicians like Tommy Dorsey and Victor Borga. His musical talents were showcased in film soundtracks and television shows, including the iconic series The Twilight Zone. Despite the financial stability these ventures provided, Dahl expressed frustration at times, feeling that his skills were underutilized in certain contexts. As a composer, Dahl left a lasting legacy with his notable compositions. One of his most frequently performed works is the Concerto for Alto Saxophone and Wind Orchestra, which was commissioned and premiered by Sigurd Rascher in 1949. The concerto underwent significant revisions throughout Dahl's lifetime, but its original version was restored and recorded in 2021. Dahl also received commissions from prestigious institutions such as the Los Angeles Philharmonic and the Kusevitsky and from foundations. His final work, the Elegy Concerto for Violin and Chamber Orchestra, was completed shortly before his death in 1970. Ingolf Dahl's contributions to the world of music and his ability to seamlessly navigate various musical genres make him a truly remarkable figure. His talent as a composer, conductor, and performer, coupled with his dedication to his craft, solidify his status as a legendary musician. Dahl's compositions continue to be performed and celebrated, with critics hailing him as a unique and influential composer. Ingolf Dahl's life and work serve as a testament to the profound impact one individual can have on the field of music. In his personal life, Ingolf Dahl led a complex and secretive existence. From his teenage years, Dahl discovered his sexuality, initially identifying as bisexual before his preference for men became more prominent. Despite this, he chose to keep his sexual orientation hidden in his professional life, fearing the potential consequences. Dahl's first homosexual experiences occurred at the age of 16 with the painter Edouard Barguier, marking the beginning of a journey that would shape his personal relationships. Dahl's love life was a tapestry of infatuations, affairs, and trysts, all carefully catalogued in his diaries. He found solace and inspiration in the company of his male companions, often drawing from these relationships for his compositions. For example, his composition, Him, was born out of a year-long affair with an art student he met at USC, while the movements of The Cycle of Sonnets bear the initials of two other significant individuals in his life. Upon moving to America, Dahl married Etta Gornick Linick, whom he had met in Zurich. Etta accepted his homosexuality and played a crucial role in keeping it hidden from the public eye. She even shared his affection with a lover Dahl had met on a trip to Boston, occasionally visiting him there. However, it was Bill Kalvig who held a special place in Dahl's heart for the last 15 years of his life. They maintained an intimate relationship, though not exclusive, and their bond was forged during a Sierra Club hiking trip. It wasn't until after Dahl's death that his stepson, Anthony Linick, discovered his homosexuality through a letter of condolence. 
Anthony reflected on the delicate balance between Dahl's private and public personas, recognizing the complexities of a man who kept his personal life hidden while finding inspiration and fulfillment in his relationships with men. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.